It's nice to see you again. I am Natasha, qualified personal trainer, health at every size provider, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And welcome to this progressive series. We are um, making our way through the series and we are still in our strength part um, of our low impact, low intensity. And over the next few months, we'll be working through moderate, intensity up to high intensity. Today, as I mentioned, we're doing some strength work. So get ready to pump those guns. You will need some equipment today. You're only gonna need some dumbbells. I have a pair here myself. If you don't have dumbbells, any kind of thing that you can hold in your hands as weights, really heavy torches, cans of food, jars of passata, um, big drink bottles, whatever you got. But you're only gonna need something that you can hold in your hands and you will need two of them. Now remember, you're in charge of the workout, not me. I'm just here for suggestions and guidance and to remind you that if you have an opportunity to smell some lavender, you always should. That's the stuff. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> We're gonna get started in today's workout. Remember, take the breaks that you need, do whatever modifications you gotta do and hit pause if you want or you need. This is your safe space. Let's go. All right, so for today's workout, we're just gonna launch straight into it. If you'd like to do some warm-ups, please check out one of the other videos. Um, I am going to get started with setting myself, and I include that as part of my warm-up. So you'll see my feet are hip width apart. I'm rolling my shoulders back and down and strengthening my spine. I can do that two more times. Come with me. Roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the spine roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the spine. So we're gonna do a few different exercises today and we're gonna do eight repetitions of each exercise four times. So let's get started. We're gonna do a bicep curl and then pushing up to the sky, back down and down. And two. And three, set a rhythm, off you go. Four. By the way, I can still smell the lavender on my hand and I have zero regrets. Six. Seven. And eight. And here comes one of the most important things, we rest. When people start moving and exercising, they may have this idea that they need to keep going and going and going. There are some movements actually that you should go and stop and go and stop and strength training is one of them. We really need to let our shoulders rest, particularly if we've got those heavy weights that we could only just manage eight of those movements. We need to give our muscles a break so the proper chemical reactions inside our muscles can take place and we can do some more later. So we're gonna do some leg work while our shoulders rest. I'm gonna take my feet a little bit wider. I'm gonna hold the weights just in front of me and I'm gonna do, you guessed it, a squat. <laughs> Let's do it again. Two. So the technique with a squat, you wanna imagine there's a seat behind you. You're trying to find the seat with your butt. Your butt touches the edge and then you change your mind and you come back up. Let's do. Oh, and more now. Perfect. All right. We're gonna move on to more shoulder work, as promised. And we're gonna do some rotator stuff. I love rotation stuff at the shoulders because it prevents those injuries. So make sure that you're nice and warm. Like I said, if you needed a warm up, you can do a different video for that. But we are going to start here. We're gonna rotate up and down. And if you find your weight is just really heavy, don't do so many. We're about to do number four. And you can do a smaller range like this. Yeah, come with me, six, seven, and eight. Come down, 
Wonderful work. So the next movement we're going to do is strength work for our tummy, but we actually don't need the weight. So we're going to step away and we're going to do a standing dead bug, but we're only going to use our legs. So our legs will get a little bit of movement, a little bit of workout, which is a great bit of fun, but it's primarily working our core. So let's engage our core. Start with your feet a little bit narrower this time, okay? But make your spine nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. I want you to lift your pelvic floor. You lift your pelvic floor by imagining that you're going to the toilet and you're urinating and you need to stop that flow of urine. What muscles do you contract to stop a flow of urine? Turn those muscles on right now. You have just turned on your pelvic floor. Turn on your core. You can do that with a cough and hold. <laughs> That's on. And we're going to gently shift our body weight to the right just as much as we need to lift our leg up. 90 degrees at the hip and the knee and down. I'm going to show you a side view. That was one. And that's two. And that's three. Really engage your core. You're not leaning back. It is not that. Five, stay tall. I'm going to show you side this way again. Six. Because you do not want to do this. Seven. We're not using our core enough. Eight. Just keep all of your center of mass inside. Yeah? All right. And we're going to finish up with some calf raises. And we're just going to hold our weights. And this is great for getting our calves and ankles strong so that as we start doing more muscular endurance stuff and cardio stuff like jumping, they're getting stronger. So feet a little bit narrower than hip width. Come up on the tippy toes and down. Up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Fantastic. Now, because it's been a while since we've actually used our uh, shoulders, we're good to use them again. So let's just jump on into it, yeah? All right. So we are going to bicep curl and up, down, down, and two, up. Find your rhythm and three, and four, and five, Six and seven. We've got one more. You can do it. You can do it. Eight. Fantastic. All right. Let's give the shoulders a bit of a break. If you want, you can still hold your weights and just let them rest. If they're a bit too heavy, pop them down on the floor. We're going to do our squats next. So your goal with these next lot of squats, I really want you to focus on digging your heels in the ground. So I want you to bring your body weight as far backwards as you can without falling over. And if you have the occasional stumble to practice, that's okay. But the further you bring your body weight backwards, the more you're going to engage your hamstrings and your gluteals. You'll offload pressure on the knees and you'll be working some of those bigger muscles that we actually want to get stronger. So let's start. Feet nice and wide. Grab your weights, hold them nice and low. You can hold them like this as well if you like. I feel comfy here. Chest is up and open. Body weight backwards, down. And two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're just going to take the time to let those muscles relax, calm down, and take a breath. And while they're having a little break, we're going to bring some exercise back up to the top again, and we're going to do those rotators. So remember, starting here, shoulders back. I'm going to show you this side position so you can see. Let's go. One, two, three. So this stuff is fantastic at preventing, you know, uh, rotator cuff injuries. 
six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. And rotator cuff injuries are pretty common and they happen when we're a little bit careless. It also happens when we're actually really careful <laughs> and there's a big force that's being applied. So if we can get our shoulder joints strong and capable and um, able to react to all different stimuli, it's gonna help. All right, so we're gonna move on. You can pop those weights away again, like I said, and we're doing those standing dead bugs, which are really tricky. So this round, focus on keeping your body weight and body, your center of mass as still as possible. Your body's gonna to wanna to shift side to side as you lift a leg up. It's gonna happen a little bit, it, it just has to. But I want you to work to minimizing it. That way we're really engaging our core, okay? Hands on hips if you like. Let's draw up that pelvic floor. So hold that muscle that we use to stop a flow of urine. Turn on the core, tall spine, and let's really focus on not letting our center of mass shift too much. I've got to look down to do this. And three, <laughs> four, five, six, whoa, seven, and eight. I find that one the toughest out of all of them. And it's really interesting, we're not using any weights. And that reminds me to tell you, you don't have to be using weights in order for it to be strength work. That standing dead bug is a classic example. Back to those calf raises. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, make them smooth, five, can you go higher? Six, seven, don't let your ankles roll out, eight. Let's start up top, yeah? All right, let's do it. Shoulder, sky, shoulder, down. Shoulder, sky, shoulder, down. Three, we're gonna make this three now anyway. <laughs> Four. Remember, if you have a heavier weight and you need to do less, do that. Listen to your body, okay? And six. Don't rock and roll. You got this. Seven. Eight. Fantastic. Are you ready? Let's go for some squats. One. Squeeze your butt. Two. Three. Four, five, six, you got this, seven, and eight. Great stuff. Give it a bit of a shake if you need, a bit of a jiggle. As we give the butt and the legs a bit of a breath, a bit of a rest, we will catch our breath <laughs> and we are going to start doing some rotators. Are you ready? All right, remember don't rock and roll. Work in a smaller range if you have to. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're gonna move on. So we've just done our rotators and we're about to head into our dead bugs. So weights on the floor, spine tall and straight, pelvic floor on, core on. We got this, yeah, let's go. One, oh, oh dear, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. It's a lot of concentration going on there for me. All right, let's wrap up this round with our calf raises. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great work. 
All right, my lovelies, we are at our last round. We are here. I hope you have fun and I hope you feel nourished and strong like the fantastic, wonderful, powerful beast you are. If you liked what you saw today, hit subscribe, hit notification bell, and I'll be sure to deliver you, deliver you some more goods. If you specifically like this video, hit it with a like button. Helps me figure out the kind of stuff you want. All right, are you ready, my dear? Let's do this. We're starting with our bicep sky. And two. And three. Four, don't rock and roll the body. Five. Six. Seven. Last one, eight. Alrighty, you're doing well and you have got this. Squats, holding your weight. Let's do this. One two, three, get that powerful butt, four, strong hips, five, present, prevent those falls, six, <laughs> seven, and eight. All right, shake out the legs, let them recover while we get those rotator cuffs ready to take on any flimsy door. You ready? Let's go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, wonderful work. On the floor they go. Let's catch our breath. We're starting to race through. Let's just bring it down. Let's take a moment to appreciate where we were at the start of this session and where we've come. Thank yourself for putting aside this time and putting you first. Let's take a breath. <sighs> All right, are we ready? I think we are. We're gonna do our standing dead bugs. So hands on hips. Let's really bring the focus in for this round. We can do this core and floor on. Tall spine. One, Ooh. two, three, four, whoa. five, six, seven. Don't arch your back. You got this. And eight. Yeah. All right. Time to finish up with those wonderful calf raises. Strong ankles, getting ready for the weeks ahead as we start doing some more moderate stuff soon. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. <sighs> Fantastic work. Before we finished up today, I just wanted to get up and close and say thank you again for supporting me and watching this video. It means the world and I particularly love reading people's comments. So if you like this or you liked a particular movement, let me know. Let me know how you found it, what your favorite part was. I'd like to give a special shout out to my beautiful patrons. A big hug to those beautiful people. It is because of you I am able to keep doing what I'm doing and why this channel has not folded and why this channel is still up. So thank you so much to all those who contribute on Patreon. If you want to know more, check the link in the um, description below. Until next time, I hope you are safe and I hope you have a brilliant day. Thank you so much for coming. Take care.